Backed by completely unpopular demand, is I, Tolstoy Kafkaevsky, dressing like badass Boston Aka here to bring you some more sexy reviewing action. Well, I kind of want to put up a disclaimer before I start talking, which is that I really didn't want to do one of these reviews. One of these reviews. One of the reviews that I like disliked doing the most, although it drug in like the most of my views, was Airsoft reviews. Airsoft is super cool. Um, I like it from a collector's point of view, less than an artistic, or less than an art artist. Where the fuck did that come from? I think it's just like the word that I say whenever I... <clears throat> I keep this by my bed. My girlfriend turned me on to these or whatever. They're called platypuses. I don't really see the point. I guess it's that when you drain them, they compact down. I think a canteen would make more sense. It's not really my style, but um, hers broke, and they could only give them in a dick sporting good, like closest to where I live. So I was like, I'll get you some. I keep this by my bed when I drink because you're going to wake up in the middle of the night from the whiskey sour, from the from the, the whiskey dries. You're going to be mm, needing some. Mm. Mine's one like the 8 ounce, hers is like the, the big badass kind. Anyway, um, right, airsoft reviews. Uh, I really don't like airsoft um, as much as a sport uh, as I do like kind of the, the, the collecting and target practicing of with them. Um, which is kind of why I really like, would rather have uh, access to like Tokyo Marui. <clears throat> I can't fucking talk right now, what the hell's going on? I don't have access to like Tokyo Marui's or, you know, um, Classic Army. Um... Stuff like that, you know, uh, more accurate replicas. Oh, wait, Cybergun did a really good one once that I pined after. It's a 1928 Chicago typewriter rendition of the um, uh, Thompson M1A1, you know, submachine gun. Not the kind that most people think about that did not have a you know secondary handle that they used in World War II that mostly came with straight box mags. The round barrel drum, you know, one with the... Um, Kind of the weird coil design on the front, the one that had a lot of kicking issues, but that was like kind of like known for being like you know Al Capone and gangsterism. You know what I mean? It's it's very much um, iconic with that. Really great replica. I love looking at the reviews on those. It actually has really nice simulated wood on the, the stock, and um, you can actually there's some mods out there. People are actually you can get some real ass wood. You know, some nice hickory, but that's a little expensive. But it'd be a great fucking airsoft project. Anyway. But the problem is that's all mun, 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 mun. So I'm kind of like caught in between two worlds where sometimes you can find some cool replicas, replicas of some guns that you actually like for cheap. Airsoft has kind of taken a hit. I'm really not sure about the politics, but I was told by like some people because everywhere I go now, even on the internet, it's fine, you know, it's difficult to find good quality ones, and uh, specifically ones that aren't clear. And, um, yeah, so, I don't know. But anyway, I, I, I managed to find one. Um, everyone probably who is familiar with my videos knows that, um, it's not really my style of, um, of gun. I, I like it, um, probably because it's iconic. This is not an airsoft, this is a CO2 power pellet pistol. I actually once used this to execute a, um, a mouse that had gotten into a, a rat trap, and, um, it just clapped down its leg, and I knew it was going to suffer, so I was all like, see, motherfucker. Really good gun safety with Tolstoy, and this was not loaded. But, as my pappy would say, only unloaded guns kill people. I don't know how that works. That seems not the way that it works. Did I just call my dad my pappy? The fuck? Am I becoming more redneck just from talking about airsoft? Anyways, that's kind of my deal, is that um, I know a little bit about guns. I know a lot about the models and makes and stuff. I've handled them only, really only once. And I'm not going to pretend here that I'm Billy really Badass. That's one of the things that I hate about airsoft, um, is that, you know... Everybody who is the, into the gun culture, I guess, on YouTube, it's just plagued with these 13-year-old Cheetos on their hand, you know, Cheeto dust-stained Call of Duty players who are all like, Well, you don't really know the best. That's not an AK-74, because Call of Duty says so! Jesus Christ, you know? And then like, they think that they're some sort of, like, weapons expert because, like, they played a video game or some shit. The one time that I got experience with a firearm is I um, took my girl on, like, the third date that we ever went on, uh, to a firearms range because her daddy had taught her how to shoot. She was more way more intuitive with guns than I was. First, I want to try a 9mm Glock. Uh, I found out running that like Glocks never jam. Like that's like a fact that like everyone's you know all these uh, you know Billy badass wannabes or these you know internet tough guys go Glocks never jam. What the fuck, mine jammed like ten fucking times. They probably weren't taking very good care of it. It was the um, the sample model down at the range. But um, yeah, let me tell you. Even with those earmuffs on and everything, the explosions were scaring the shit out of me. Also, I couldn't find a way. I can't load the 9mm double stack. It was something about trying to, like, like twist the round as it's going in. She loaded all the 9mm. 
Um, then we worked our way up to uh, the Kimber 45, like, really much better. Um, they're like, oh, there's more recoil. And I'm like, I really didn't notice the recoil as a problem. Uh, I had better you know, aim with it, I had better accuracy with it, and uh, it was probably the weight. Because, like, even this weighs like, more than a Kimber 45 because it's a CO2 pistol and it has that heavy-ass, you know, canister in the, in the ass end. And um, the weight, the second that I got it in my hands, was keeping my aim from, you know, jiggling off in any direction. It was very steady and smooth. Um, I like the way that the sights aligned and everything. So, yeah, if I could, I'd rather have an Airsoft Kimber 45 but they don't fucking make that. I guess you could say, why don't you get a real Kimber 45? And I'm like, because you can't point that at people and go, bang, bang, you're dead. I can't point this at someone and say, bang, bang, you're dead, because it technically fires pellets and it's considered a firearm by the law. And then here we go with the Milsom freak argument. You know, uh, airsoft guns should be treated like real guns. No, they shouldn't. You don't shoot real guns at people who you then go have a beer with. Oh, that's right. None of you kids are old enough to drink. Anyway. So, for your reviewing pleasure, about 20 minutes in, I don't even give a shit, the Airsoft rendition of the Heckler & Coke USP. Here's something that I think I might know about it. I'm not certain if this is what a SOCOM is. Um, well, it's a big old price tag on the front. Well, that should help you. That should help you out with figuring out how much you paid for it, which isn't bad. Everyone that I was looking for this, including Outdoors World and all that stuff, only had, like, clear kitty versions of it. And I'm like, there's no point in making this shit clear. If you want to make it look unrealistic, go play paintball then. Because paintball has the added benefit of being a sport where you can tell if you tagged somebody and you don't have to play on the honor system. And it's completely fucking unrealistic because you have a giant fucking plastic kidney floating above your gun. So, I mean, if you're gonna, like, just fuck realism in the ass, then just go ahead and play paintball. That's the reason why. But I like this gun. It sort of always reminded me of the gun that is being used in the Matrix by, um, I pointed over there because I have my Morpheus figure over there. I have also one behind the camera. Um, when, you know, in the uh, Matrix, when he's looking at Agent Smith and he says, would that include a bullet from this gun? But then everyone corrected me. He's like, no, it's a full auto Glock 18, and I agree. Um, but yeah, I believe this is also what uh, Olga Glukovic carries. Uh, I know that this comes with basically a 45. Uh, I think the U.S. Navy um, at once had this as a standard sidearm for officers. I don't really know. So, anyway, um, but it caught my eye out. I wanted to get it, and it was cheap. It was like 39 bucks, and um, I wanted to have a little fun. Now, um, I can look at the packaging, but I don't care. All it says is it's a CO2, takes the standard CO2, and that's, that's good. I like CO2 pistols. Um, Semi-automatic, uh, velocity 360 FPS, probably not that powerful. Metal barrel, hop-up, holds 16 rounds, and it's an authentic replica from Heckler & Coke. I love their fucking, you know, um, tagline here, no compromise. That's actually what I kind of caught my eye when I first bought this one. Um, yeah, so there's that. Um, the only difference is that this one does not have a barrel that extends past it. This one does, and it's a little orange tip. Could I remove the tip or paint it black? Yes, I could, but that would be a felony, so I'm not going to do it. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba um, yeah, so there really isn't much about the box. It's all about the gun. I really want to know if the gun is pretty much going to be like the same, because it basically looks like the same damn thing that this other USP is, but they probably just ripped out the internals and replaced it to fire a 6mm plastic pellet. Probably, like, toned down the power a little bit, because I think it would... If this thing fired out with the same power that this thing does, it would just crush the babies, regardless of what gram they are. I have to find a good knife to open this with. I really wanted to actually talk about a knife that I recently got. This is like the biggest toy that I bought for myself in a while. Um, I don't, I can't really get the camera down there low enough to show you out in my pocket. But I'm still getting used to it, and that's a little bit... I'm a little worried taking it out of my pocket. It is the Cold Steel Espada. Look into them. I have the large model here. And um, <clears throat> it works on a waiver mechanism. By the way, biggest knife. Not a big gun knife biggest knife. Um, you're supposed to catch your little plate right there. You cannot open it manually without two hands. I'll show you that. See? My thumb isn't big enough. Maybe somebody is. You're like, can't you throw it from that distance? No, I can't. It'll slip out of my hands. The damn knife is too big. It has too much mass. Um, I could open it with that, but this thing is so deadly razor sharp at this point. Uh, I want to sort of keep it that way. Keep it mint. Keep it, keep it like my baby. So, but when I finally have enough experience with this that I think that I can pull off a waiver pole or... If I know that there's, you know, the ups and downs to it, or, you know what I mean? I like to wait before I review a lot of stuff. I'm not waiting before I review this, obviously, but anyway. So I have to find a good knife to open this with. Um, I guess we go to the knife case. This is an awesome action view of my ass, as you can clearly see. I'm just showing up the world what's good. Showing up the goods. Um, I usually always select my CRKT Kit Carson. It's actually one of the best damn knives I've ever owned. Um has like little to no play, that lock is super solid. Other, you know, knives, uh, 
companies like Cold Steel, I've bought knives that are like, oh, it's super solid lock up and it hasn't been. We'll find out about the Espada. Supposedly it has this new axis lock, it can withstand like 300 pounds of pressure on the blade, you know, for over so many hours, I forget, I don't care. So now we're going to be super safe with Tolstoy and do some opening of plastic, which everyone finds interesting and amusing. Um, because Tolstoy practices ultimate safety when doing anything and constantly, you know, points guns at, you know, himself, constantly. Uh, I went to the same school of safety as uh, FPS Russia, which actually he is pretty informed. Um, I don't know if the guy is military or police, but he seems to know how to handle his guns pretty well. I mean, I think he's a douche for not wearing ear or eye protection. I think he's trying to look too Billy Badass on the internet, you know what I mean? But um, at the same time, I do notice that he does seem to have some skills, so won't talk too much shit. Okay, now's where we're getting to the point where we're probably going to have him hurt ourselves. So I just pry open the plastic. Alrighty. Um, it is super lightweight by comparison to the other one. Oh, this thing has blowback? Don't tell me this thing has blowback. No, no, it doesn't. Almost looked like it did, though. Okay, now I have it on safety. I guess because I don't have a magnet. It feels cheaper. But other than that, these things are damn near the same. Shoot it like a black guy, yo! Um, this one feels slightly lighter, probably because of the absence of the CO2 mag, but it also feels slightly less well-made. Like, the plastics are slightly different. Actually, you can tell there's a, kind of a slightly different shade. This one's a little bit, bit lighter. Hmm. So, We should probably load in a CO2 mag. Usually I would do this outside, but I think I have enough experience in it. Oh. That's the huge difference. Oh, well. It's not like it's going to make really that much of a mistake. Oh, wait. Damn, I need the... Do I have the tool in here? The Allen Alda wrench? Oh, shit. I don't, I don't know where the, where the Alda wrench is. Allen wrench, whatever. But I'm tish. Fuck. Mm. God damn, this is a bad review. I did not prepare at all for this. Hmm. Should be one in the box then. Can't imagine they wouldn't give you one. Yep, there is. And it also comes with some cheap shitty BBs that you should never fucking use. Like the six gram ones. Those will ruin your good gun. So, not that this would be a good gun, don't know yet. The accuracy on the other one, the BB pistol, the pellet gun, the one that I can't point at friends while I'm drinking, um, is, the accuracy on that is very good. Um, as opposed to the Beretta PX Storm that I have, that sucks, that thing sucks. Hmm. Okay. So, you put a little dab of oil on there, which I have very, very high quality dental machine oil. Don't ask me where I got this. Uh, air instrument oil or whatever. Grab yourself a CO2 cartridge. Well, what do you think the whisk is for? Oh, man. It's so weird doing this, like... Okay, little dab will do you. Now, everyone on the internet laughs whenever Tolstoy loads a CO2 mag into anything. Why? Well, kids, because it personally scares the shit out of me when this thing starts to spew cold air. So, I've, I've learned that you have to put this thing in and tighten real good. you got to do it fast, too. That loaded relatively easy, but it's leaking. And I can't get it to tighten any more. There we go. You hear that? It's leaking. Why? It's tighter than I can make it. Oh, good. It's just making this... I don't know if the first time it's going to do that. The room is beginning to smell like ozone. 
Um, hey, stop doing that. Alright, well, I'm gonna try to assemble and load and get some test shots. Stop wasting time. Let's listen to it. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? The fuck? So let's say it's a beautiful day outside. But unfortunately, it's being ruined by the presence of a sickening dirt. With his fucking faggot ball cap and his pants down around his ankles. Well, you see, we've loaded you up. We got, uh, how many here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It possibly could take him one more since it can hold 16 capacity. Let's, um, see what she can do. Alright, now let's uh, have a look at some of the damage then. Um, looks like it's got pretty good grouping. I was mostly aiming for the face. Um, a lot of mistakes here, 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 here. Um, but airsofts and even CO2 pistols of any kind really aren't known for their great accuracy. For what it's worth, this one's not bad at accuracy. I was firing from a distance about 50 feet. My target wasn't moving though, um, so that probably says something. Um, little to no penetration power. Um, yeah, you have some BBs seem to have gone through, but for an old crappy box, actually, this one's pretty strong, sort of, I mean, like, I can't puncture it with my nail, however, that does not seem to have a very powerful FPS, it's probably not 360, it's probably somewhere more around 300, I think the, um, Ruger, oh, they told me it wasn't an SR9, what the fuck did they tell me it was, a PF2, I don't know, I did a review about it, I put it under SR9, um, probably does not have as much power as the Ruger. I feel like the Ruger would have busted through that shit. Oh, yeah. Shit. That did not, uh, that didn't break a sweat. Yeah. So, shall I tell you what? Um, what I will do, actually, to test out for myself just how powerful this bad boy is. Well, stay tuned. For an extra bit of fun, I am going to volunteer to be shot. Uh, downrange. Uh, my brother's behind the camera and he's going to be the shooter. Um, I learned on the Interminets a totally cool ancient ninja technique for blocking bullets. And we're gonna try that now. See how fucking well it works. Dude, the first one hurt like really bad. Look at that. Ow, son of a fuck. Alright, so I know that there's no way I'm not going to catch flack for having just done that. Um I got the feeling that possibly either because so much CO2 was leaking from the gun at the start when I was trying to get that, I finally got it to stop. Um, but I kind of got the feeling that the power wasn't as great as it could be. It's at 360 FPS. So then I volunteered to get shot with it. And, um, yeah, actually it does pack a stinging punch. You know when you've been shot, depending. Um, a few of those hits I were taking to the padded shoulders or to my back. Or, you know, I mean, if it was just hitting the whatever. The one that hurt the fucking most, like a hornet, was when I had my elbow like this, nice and taut, and it just smacked me. And it, it was just burning for um, seconds after that. So yeah, you do know when you've been shot um, with this gun. However, I, I know that by doing this review, I'll probably open myself up to, you know, all these 13-year-olds going like, oh, you just a pussy and you don't even know how that you get shot because you don't, because yeah, cause I once got shot. If the BBs don't stick in your flesh, then it's not, it's not a real airsoft gun. God, you guys are so fucking annoying. This is why I couldn't stand to do this review. I never understood why people, if they liked the review, wouldn't just watch it, and if they didn't like the review, wouldn't just turn it off. I swear to God. Anyway. So, finishing thoughts. It's, um, the construction is not bad. At first, I thought it would be cheaper than this, but actually, they're about the damn same. You know why this has added weight? I'm retarded. Because I put a fucking laser sight on it. Forgot about that. 
Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee